Hello, welcome to the Tea Party Heidi channel. Congratulations, rioters. You won your first battle. Los Angeles is going to slash up to $150 million from the LAPD budget and reinvest into communities of color. Now, it is interesting that they said communities of color because on that same day, Ellen DeGeneres was criticized for a deleted tweet about protests saying people of color. It is really hard to stay up with lefty speak. I feel sorry for people that swim in that pool. Ellen DeGeneres was caught uh, caught backlash on social media after posting on and subsequently deleting a post about the ongoing protest <coughs> and riots in the U.S. that users found to be both vague and tone deaf. The 62-year-old comic, known for her known for ending each episode of her talk show with a phrase be kind to one another shared a powerful video using her fans to spread love that came along with a pair of tweets advocating for people to donate to worthwhile causes and to support the black lives matter movement not everyone agrees that that's a worthwhile cause however it did just cost the lapd 150 million dollars inside insider notes that those posts came after she deleted a tweet, for, a tweet where many were quick to criticize as being without any real substance. Okay, so here's the tweet. Like so many of you, I am angry and I am sad, DeGeneres wrote, according to screenshots. People of color in this country have faced injustice for far too long. For things to change, things must change. We must commit ourselves to this change with conviction and love. Wow. She must think Obama's still president. Open change. Change, 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 change. But the point is, she gets razzed with all these people. It's black people, Ellen. Not people of color. Black life matters. One person wrote. Not people of color. George Floyd was black. Why are you being so cautious? Serious? Another wrote. Black people, Ellen. Now delete it. And she did. But the mayor turns around and gives him 150 million bucks, and it's like now it's all of a sudden people of color, and it's like, oh, it's all good. Cha-ching. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti. Mayor Eric Garcetti, isn't he the one that said that you have to wear a mask in the city of L.A.? Did his police department not get the memo? Because they're not wearing masks. Let's see what he... Oh, that's what he looks like on the same... He's not wearing a mask. He's not social distancing. He's a freaking hypocrite. Do as I say, not as I do. And more importantly, I'm going to give you one, two, three, four, five reasons why there's a lot of people on the Democrat side who think that the cootie is either completely dead or a complete hoax because he's not wearing a mask and he's not social distancing and how many cops have you seen in the last few days in the videos and in the pictures and on the twitters and everything else that are hugging people i did see one wearing gloves and wearing a mask who was thinking, i'm like wow you you're the one you are the only one this is mayor hypocrite he said you can't go out into the city without a mask and look at him. Somebody's been lying to me. One thing leads to another. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a racist. But apparently, you want to not be called a racist? Pull out 150 million bucks. Suddenly, you can say community colors all day long. The Los Angeles Times reported that the city will try to cut between 100 million and 150 million from its police budget alone. Garcetti said it's incumbent on the city to step up and say, what can we sacrifice? What can we give the rioters to make them stop? You give in to terrorists, you get more terrorism. L.A. is the first domino to fall. Who will be the next city to give in? We'll find out in the future, and that's where I'll see you in the future.